finds whether to take it or leave it. And finally, the racket got in the way of that. Yeah, just not sure whether she wanted to take it or let it go. 30 all. Yes, good wide serve. Gives Zink and Fidak a set point. Oberoi and Shikha Oberoi versus Melinda Zink and Juliana Fidak. 7-6 first set to the Oberoi sisters. 6-1 the second set to Zink and Fidak. One set all. Which side are the balls? It's now Neha's turn to Which side are the balls? visit the, the balls? ladies' room. And uh, no, no, Sunfi okay. Sunny spreading the smile, especially on Zink's face. She hasn't been smiling too much in the last couple of days. And Sanya also in the background. With a slight smile. We'll be back after this break. Oberoi sisters with the first set, Sink and Fidak with the second. Still waiting for Neha to come out on court. And uh, Shikha also waiting for her. And uh, Sanya there in the background. Not an appropriate time to read the newspaper, but 
one never knows. And uh, the Sunfeast Open 2005 contest for day six. What is the total prize money for the Sunfeast Open 2005 Kolkata? A, $170,000, B, $50,000, or C, $100,000. Send in your answer to sunfeastopen at itc.co.in. Mr. Bhandari, the general manager of uh, the ITC Shonar Bangla in Kolkata. Fabulous hotel, I'm telling you. You know, we're all staying there and, and they're taking such great care of us. I mean, you know, hospitality is, is their business, but to go that extra mile every time, fabulous. And all the players are staying there as well. And I can tell you that, you know, one of the big attractions of any tour event is, is hospitality. And, and I'm sure that the players who are here for the Sunfeast Open 2005 will only have extremely good things to say about their stay in Kolkata. I mean, what their impressions might have been before they arrived here, but they will go back saying, hey, it's a great place, fabulous hospitality, and, and that's what will make this tournament more and more popular as time goes on. Shweta, you're uh, looking after the players, so what's the feedback huh. with regard to the hotel? Well, with regard to the tournament in general, Final uh, spin out. Uh, we we took a buggy ride um, on, on day one. They got to see the city and meet a lot of people. Missionaries of Charity was one of the places they visited today. Yes, one of the most crucial moments in the match now. The first couple of games again of the third set. Neha, of course, coming just off a toilet break and she really, really needs to get focused and uh, make sure that they don't give away easy points in the first couple of games. It's very crucial that they get on top of their opponents right away in this third set. Sorry, Shweta, you were talking about the... Oh! The tournament, actually. The girls have enjoyed it a lot so far. Um, so have the officials. And um, it means a great deal to us as the organizers to hear hear them say that they'll be back again. Yes, I think Indian hospitality is one of the best because when we used to travel abroad, we used to never get any preferential treatment and, you know, we, we, we've noticed over the years that whenever we have a lot of foreign players coming in, they really get treated well and uh, they appreciate it. So. Fidak. Shweta, we have some of the best players in the world. Currently number 12, but earlier number 2, Anastasia Miskina. And Lehafseva, not too far back, number 17. She's oh! some very good tennis, so on and so forth. How difficult was it, if you've been talking to Mahesh and others who uh, ensured their participation, to have them come to the first ever Sunfeast Open here in Kolkata? Tournament of this size um, that's taking place for the first time, it's always a challenge to get better players to participate. This week especially, there are two other tournaments, you know, taking place simultaneously. One in China, which is way bigger, and another in Slovenia. Um, this being, you know, a follow-up after the US Open, uh, many players don't play. There are also WTA rules that prevent certain players from playing a tournament of this size. First game, the final game. Service broken. Very first game of the third set. Not a good start for the Indo-American pair of sisters. But for Melinda and Juliana Fadak, they have really come back splendidly in the semi-final. And uh, I dare say, look much the better combination. Charu, I think they need to get their momentum back. The, the kind of momentum they had in the first set. Well, that too, Shweta was very scrappy. In, 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 of course, one's happy for them that they won in the tie break. But uh, certainly hope that they find a way out, you know, plan B, plan C.
personal note, and I wonder whether you would agree. I, you know, in an ideal world, it would be so nice for people, to, for people to be here, spectators and those watching around the world, to actually just watch the quality of tennis here rather than just going for the stars. But it doesn't happen like that, unfortunately. You have to have some stars. Yes, I agree. There is, um, you know, good quality matches even with uh, non marquee players. But for a tournament like this, um, it's really important to also have, you know, Grand Slam winners or past champions. It gives a chance for our Indian girls to play with international, you know, tennis players of that league at home. Shikha, she's going a bit too much. Now she's a very efficient bowler. She knows the drill, and yet every once in a while, perhaps because of the adrenaline, she just goes for a big swinging volley rather than just angling it into the court. Oh! Melinda's serve is very difficult to break, southpaw, with uh, finding wonderful angles, but uh, Juliana has been and says it's like a weaker link service-wise. And your boy sister's now. But uh, here's the need to pile the pressure on. Two. Fifteen, four, three. Break points. Shweta, thanks so much for joining us and we wish you and Mahesh and Global Sport all the best Next in your future success. endeavors and uh, also for a successful end to the tournament. Thank you, Gaurav. Success with this tournament also ensures you being here next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's made my week. It was nice being here. Thanks, Charu, and thanks, Gaurav, Next for success. having me. Pleasure, Shweta. Thanks for your company. And as you said, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed this eagle's eye view because uh, commentator boxes around the world tend to be on these uh, hikes around the stadium. Oh! One I did say that the Juliana Pedak serve needs to be attacked by the Yogo sisters every time. And uh, Neha really needs to pick up a game. It's the semi finals that haven't been at this stage before, but fortunately for them, they're, all, they're playing another unranked team, unseeded team, should I say. Very good wins in the first and second round for the Obroy sisters. Well, well, well. Nena this time moving away, creating the space. 15 love. Volley. Although it did find Melinda Schink. It was too quick. She wasn't ready for it. 